Once again, we've got a client who comes to you and says, I have elbow pain. This time though, let's talk about maybe pain on the outside of the elbow. Once again, they're probably gonna call it tennis elbow. They're gonna say that it's flared up and that it's that lateral epicondylalgia that they know is theirs. That may or may not actually be what it is. There's a ton of different reasons you might have pain on the outside of the elbow, but this exercise should likely help most of your patients or your clients who have that sort of discomfort. So if it's the left arm, we're gonna take this strap and we're gonna lay it across the, left, uh, across the first rib on the left side. We're gonna reach around and loop that hand just to secure it there. And we're gonna have them lay down. This knee on the stability side, this knee is gonna stay uh, straight, and then this knee is going to be bent. Make sure they've got enough slack on this that they're, this long part of the strap can reach. Again, it goes in the front of the foot. She's gonna straighten out her leg as far as she can comfortably go, and then she's gonna take an easy deep breath, and on the way out, she steps on the gas pedal to put tension across this strap. This time, she's gonna take her hand and turn it down with her palm like this. That gets the radial nerve so that they can, so we can put tension to um, release the pain on the outside of the elbow. She's gonna slowly pull her arm out to the side until she feels tension along the outside, you feel it there, and then just comes off of it. You get onto the tension and then off of the tension. The stronger she pushes down with her leg, likely the less range of motion she'll have. Goal is for any of your clients that they should at least be able to get to about 90 degrees of motion with their shoulder blade depressed by this strap. If they can't get to 90, it's probably tight and they need to keep working on it. So five or 10 repetitions, sit back up and check it again.